In a thrilling WW2 story inspired by actual events, Captain Ernest Krauss, played by Tom Hanks, leads an international convoy of 37 ships on a treacherous mission across the Atlantic to deliver thousands of soldiers much needed supplies to Allied forces. The movie Greyhound is an Apple TV original movie. It's really great stuff here. The battle sequences are filmed brilliantly and with realism. The film is all about getting from point A to point B while battling enemy forces. Man, it's like a real life game of Battleship. But seriously, some really great action sequences is so good. This film was flawless, well written and well acted. Tom Hanks gives another stellar performance and it reminds me of his performance in Saving Private Ryan. One of his Oscar nominated roles out of six he received, winning two. One for Philadelphia and the other for Forrest Gump. I am an absolute sucker for a war movie. And I've seen so many amazing ones from Apocalypse Now to Saving Private Ryan, you No know, Band of Brothers, an amazing miniseries. You have Full Metal Jacket, Platoon, the list goes on. So many great ones. Tom Hanks has been at the forefront of a lot of those films, you know, and he's a person that's behind the scenes when it came to Band of Brothers. First credit as a director. And this film was really so just intense, you know, you feel the claustrophobia of the destroyer that they're on, you know, and how Tom Hanks as uh, Captain Krause had to keep the guys in line. He had to keep everything going. He had to have everything lined up, everything just right. You had to have, he was giving out orders. These guys needed to send them back. He had to make sure that they knew what, what's needed to be done. And um, I'm just watching in amazement has, you know, how everything works during naval warfare, how they were battling one of four U-boats that they sunk. The first one, 30 minutes worth of the first, uh, you know, part of the film was dedicated to to this intense battle. You know, you have the guy who is on great the Grey Wolf, you know, on the U-boats just taunting them, saying how much they're all are going to die. Unfortunately, they had casualties. They had only three, one of them being uh, a loyal messmate named George Cleveland, who was making trying to make sure that uh, Tom Hanks' character would eat. And he was on his feet the whole time, he would only drink coffee and you see the beautiful like food that he would bring for him, you know, pancakes and eggs and like that. And he was just not eat, you know, and um, you see just like how important it is to make sure that when you're given coordinates that you say them back. One guy who received it had to ask for the person to repeat it. And the guy's getting a little bit sick and he sneezes and, you know, he kind of, he was hesitating at times. And then the, the other officer was looking at him like, are you going to do that again? Because if not, you can be easily relieved, you know, important stuff. I mean, you had to be on your toes, you know, pretty much. I mean, I was on a naval ship at one time, the USS Bellawood, uh, you know, when I was in the military and I didn't see something like this but i can but i was definitely seeing how they run a ship how they have to have everything just right you can't skip on anything you know especially during this time <clears throat> a certain part of, of world war ii a certain time <clears throat> and uh the film was just you know like i said in the during the intro it was just so well done so well made well acted. Tom Hanks can do no wrong. 
the guy is just a national treasure when it comes to our actors, you know, the actors in Hollywood. Uh, he was just, he's just an icon. Coming from a TV series, Bosom Buddies, which I loved. I love the series. It's really funny. It was really good. He's seen his talent right there. And you know that this guy was going to be something if he had, if he ventured off into movies. And he did with Big and Forrest Gump and, you know, other films that you know that he was. As, as time went on, the same by Ryan and uh, Terminal and, you know, Cast Away. You say any of his films, and whether they be a smaller level film or a big blockbuster, all of his films, he's, he's the guy that if you say Tom Hanks, I'm going to watch the movie. I didn't know nothing about Greyhound. Tom Hanks is in the film. I'm going to check it out. And then I found out it was a war movie. I'm still, I'm there. That Greyhound, I'm thinking, oh, is it a, is this a, um, you know, a uh, story about the founding of the, you know, bus line Greyhound, you know, <laughs> that's what I thought. Or maybe racing greyhounds, you know, like that. But no, it's about a pivotal part of World War II. A mission to get supplies and much needed supplies and uh, personnel to their allies, you know. And um, what truly is, uh, you see pretty much what is the result of all of what, you know, Captain Krause and his crew went through facing the first U-boat and then eventually destroying three others. He lost a lot of people. Like when the movie fades away, fades off, and then you see something written on the screen and it reads as follows. During the Battle of the Atlantic, over 3,599 ships carrying millions of tons of cargo were sunk. 72,200 souls were lost forever. Now I'm assuming is that their crew and the enemies? I mean, they could definitely account for their crew, but you know, but they had a lot of ships and a lot of crew. There's a lot of people. I've, I've been on, like I said, I've been on those type of ships, and I know how many people, crew of people can they can fit in those things. So you know, I don't know if they're even talking about you know the whole effort, the whole war, but you know, this is something that. A lot of people in our day and age, especially the youngsters, especially this generation, need to know about. It's unfortunate that stuff like this and other historical things, events, uh, historical people, are almost being lost uh, forever because they're not taught history in school nowadays. And that's sad. I remember learning everything from the Civil War to the American Revolution you know, World War Two, World War World War One, Korean War, Vietnam War, you know, all of those. The Boston Tea Party. How many you know about that? Discovering of America, Christopher Columbus. How many of those people and those events do any of these people, these kids nowadays know? The youngsters, the millennials, the you know what I mean? Like it's truly sad, you know, that some of them probably don't even know. I mean, I didn't know this specifically, you know, but I knew about World War II. I know about how many battlefronts there are, whether it be on air, land, sea, you know. But how many people know about World War II in, in itself, you know? You know, we've lost, like, so many people when it comes to you know, World War Two. I mean, there's only maybe just a couple now left. I don't even know if maybe even they died off now, you know, and there's nobody left. They're in their late 90s, some of them. And they're slowly but surely, you know, the they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they told their stories to the younger generations and they're carrying it on. But from this generation out forward, what's gonna happen, you know? We need to know about this, to know what people did in order for us to have our freedoms, in order for us to know what it's like to live in a land that's free. Don't think that it's free because you're here in America. It's free because of uh, our soldiers and the people who fought for those freedoms. 
People forget that nowadays. In the climate that we're in right now, people are forgetting that. And I just wish that everybody who may see this video, uh, check out the movie if you haven't seen it already. You know, watch, read, learn about history, especially during these times. Like I said, these world wars that we've been through and the conflicts, moments in history that allowed us to enjoy what we have now, that ensured that the enemies were kept at bay. You know, Greyhound really is going to go down as definitely a companion piece to all these other war films that taught us about our ancestors and what they did and what they went through in order to ensure that, you know, that we be all living in a world, I mean, living in a, a place in a country that we didn't have to worry about enemies, you know, coming in and taking over. But I hope that, uh, our country will find a balance again. And I hope that uh, everything will be remedied in the near future and that we will stop doing the crazy shit that's going on out there. Misled and misguided individuals that are like, really don't have anything positive that's driving them. And when I watch a movie like this, it reminds me of sacrifices made by our amazing and incredible servicemen and women some giving the ultimate act sacrifice to ensure our freedom but that's my uh, video for uh, for this um, segment this usual uh, thing I do uh, these days uh, i watch a film and i review it and this movie was really really great well well worth my time it flew by like that i was so much into it and it's an amazing film and i totally and i highly recommend it but uh well that's my uh video and for those of you who stopped by and checked it out i appreciate it and appreciate your support and in closing it as always take care Please remember to subscribe, click like, and click the bell icon for all the notifications on this channel.